What's the matter YouTube fans? This is Will back again and I know it's been a really really long time since I made a YouTube video and as you can t as you can tell today is my 22nd birthday. I'm 22 years old today and I have birthday presents in my bedroom. So for this year, right I'll show you what I've got for this year. I may not have Thomas related stuff, but I'm not really complaining. Anyways, the first present I'm going to show you is Dark Side Ray, which is the uh, 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 which is uh, Ray's vision of uh, Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. And at the back, you've got all the characters from episode 9. And I've got Mecha Freezer. Pretty cool, huh? Now, for those who are wondering, why is there a prize tag on this? Well, this, I'm filming this late because it's night and I was supposed to film it this morning and this afternoon, but I've been busy and... Blah 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 stuff like that. That's why I not I've not had time to take that price tag off. Yes, it says that it costs twelve pounds ninety nine, which it does. I bought this from a game shop in Southport. And I've got all the characters that you can collect 28th world tournament Goku never seen that before I have seen him in that outfit in the manga and anime and stuff like that but I've not seen like a pop final thingy of the character in that uniform himself and I've got a Dragon Ball Z heat change mug Vegeta cold Goku hot can't wait to try this anyway, because uh, you know me, I'm always into my animes and uh, Star Wars, etc, etc. And I'm still into trains, like all train fans are with their trains. I've got Piccolo, Dragon Ball Super, and there's different hands you can you can use for the character or figure you can uh, have you can have him using fists and grabbing something and using like special powers and all that stuff like that shows you all the characters at the back and I've got I've also got Gogeta now seven years ago today I did have a Gogeta figure, the Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 4 one, but they're, like, but they're smaller than this one, and this one is bigger than the two. And I think they look pre it looks pretty cool in sizes and stuff. It has all the characters. They, he they even have Ultra Instinct Goku and Bardock and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Gogeta, -ta. actually Super Saiyan Gogeta, which I already have, and I have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in Dragon Ball Super, but really this is off Dragon Ball GT. So yeah, Gogeta, actually Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I am, I am desperate to get even though I still have one but in miniature size or whatever you want to call it and shit and I have uh, a talking stormtrooper and look what it does you can move it like that it has a blaster and it can talk too listen 
contacts go off in this direction. Stop that ship! Blast them! He also says like the same quotes off uh, the original Star Wars trilogy. For those who have watched Star Wars, if you or if any of you haven't seen this one before, I recommend any of you getting that because I really think this looks pretty cool. The talking stormtrooper who repeats the lines over and over again in the original trilogy. And I've got a Black Series 6-inch figure of the Sandstorm Trooper. This one does come with three guns, but I prefer this one to have like a blaster. And it has like a rucksack or backpack, whatever you want to call it. And he's all full of sand, like in Star, in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Very graphic and all stuff like that. Look at the paint in this one. I really love how they've done it. I think they're amazing. Oh, and I've got R2-D2. In em Empire Strikes Back, it's been 40 years this year of Star Wars Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. And here's the wave. That's the figures you can get at the back. And Luke Skywalker, Snow Speeder. And got some Star Wars badges in a pack. And check this out! I've got a spray gun! I might use this for my uh, custom model trains that I might plan on making. And I might or might no longer use any paint, paints and other crazy, you know, stuff like that. But I am really excited to use them when I'm making uh, custom made trains and stuff like that. So yeah, I've got a spray gun. Where you can like spray, do like spray painting on all the crazy stuff like that. It's better than just uh, getting like getting like uh, paintbrush stroke, strokes all over your fingers and all that type of crap that I can put up with. And I've also got Hornby Prince William after me. <laughs> hey, right. I'm lucky to have a diesel called William in the collection. Pretty cool, right? Class 47. Really? That's interesting. And I've got the Hatton's Originals Hornby Class 66. Biffa Diesel. Flying Dustman. Yes. Pretty cool, huh? It looks freaking good, doesn't it? And I quite love it. Biffa Red and all that type of paint and details and stuff like that. Really love the look of it. It is really stunning. The back's not really interesting, so why bother? So, yeah. I've got the... Hornby or Hatton's Originals uh, Flying Dustman can't wait to run that and Prince William on my track which I will show you in one of my next videos and I've got a Black Series Wave 6 inch figure of the Sith Jet Trooper this is number 106 It says, in its ultimate push towards gala toward galactic conquest, the First Order readies an army of elite soldiers that draw inspiration 
from a dark and ancient legacy. Whether I've said it right or... Uh, said it or... Said it right or wrong or read it right or wrong. I don't care. And I've got a Han Solo comic. Imperial Cadet. We've got a, a young Han Solo. I'll admit, they do try to make him look like Harrison Ford, but I still think he's the same Han Solo that was played by Harrison Ford. And you've got the back, Untold Adventures of a Young Han, Han Solo. I got this from Waterstones in Southport, and it costs me £14.99. It's not exactly a birthday present from this morning, but I... That's where I bought it. And last but not least, Dragon Ball Super Part 9 on DVD with Jiren at the front, PG, and... Yep. I can't wait to watch this. I've not exactly watched much of the 8th uh, DVD that I got for Christmas, but once I've done everything that I've been doing, Lately, while I've not been around on YouTube as much, I might get the chance to watch the two discs and uh, on on DVD 8 or part 8 and move on to this one. Then there's a good chance I'll get the 10th and 11th or whichever numbers. I don't really care, really. So this is all I can show you. I have had a special birthday today. Hope you've all enjoyed this video as well. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!